My Career Episode 3 Kevin Harlan here, and I'm joined by Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sidelines. The Utah Jazz come into this one after the win against Denver, and they pulled off a three-point win in that one. Too close for comfort, but uh, they'll take it. And after that game, it was impressive to look at the box score and see the... And checking out Utah's opening lineup, we've got Bogdanovich, Conley out there with Cowan Sexton. Then there's Markinen. And it's Ezebuke in at the center, filling out the middle. And for Minnesota, Carl Anthony Towns is out there with Edwards. Then there's D'Angelo Russell. Then it's Rudy Gobert. And the Jazz start out. Utah has gone three of three from deep. Nine points rung up from outside here in the first. Two points, that one goes. And now it's a 10 point Jazz lead. <laughs> Defensively, they've got to pick up the intent. Got a piece of it. Here we go, one on one. And it takes that one up and powers it through. Displaying intensity right off the opening board. They sure are. I mean, they've done a terrific job carving out space under the basket and then pursuing the ball. You know, Lobbed up there for Anderson. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley oop attempt there. Jumps up. Got it. And he's now three for five from the field. Shots are just flowing for him right now, having a really strong quarter. Overcome some pretty stingy defense. Yeah, the play calling is going to be key here, guys. You can't afford to be predictable. And, you know, that means not only just has been a big key in this one, Greg, they've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. And Sexton slams it in. And there's no question Sexton can flat out score. He's guarded by Russell. Got that bucket. Drops in the tray. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. He's guarded by Russell. Nice concentration to hit the double clutch layup. He's got 24. Monster quarter for him. He's put the team on his back. Uh, Gone to three-point range seven times tonight. Knocked down five of them. Sexton's shot is... Shot clock at five. Nice ball movement by you. Now flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. Woo, one of his favorite moves. Second chance shot. And the basket good. A bank shot that time. his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Bogdanovich, flushes it down to finish the break. And, you know, stretching out for that one, Bogdanovich showing up to the paint as a bookie. That one is good enough to where he should have hit that shot. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Strong work for him at the offensive. Pick he lays there. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And he's got 41. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come to the inside. Marking in good. Really crisp. Great start from three-point range in the final quarter. They're a perfect three of three. Fires from 14. He hits the back iron in the season series to establish a psychological edge. Especially because they're going to get together three more times this season, Greg. You love to get an opponent figured out early when you're going to be seeing them that up. So it's the Timberwolves now. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Pass to Reed. The fadeaway. Hits the front of the rim and out. And 
so it's Utah easily grabbing the win. To come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. Yeah, I, I guess they don't need home cooking to feel at home. <laughs> I mean, Kevin, just a masterful performance all the way around. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. We'll see you later. And it's been a ridiculous performance in the best sense possible. I mean, everything about his game has been working. And no matter what they've thrown at him, he's had the answer. Teams need contributions from everybody to win.